Fibro TV, making positive connections in the chronic illness community. Hello, fellow chronic illness warriors. Monday May Day here. Are you ready to have some fun? Now remember, Fibro TV's podcasts are for entertainment purposes and educational purposes only. So if a positive attitude, fruits and veggies causes you to grow a third eye or feathers, don't blame Jen. She warned you. Now let's get the fun started. Ha ha! You're listening to the Daily Dose of Health and Wellness with Jen Reynolds. Fibro TV, making positive connections in the chronic illness community. My body hurts. The information contained on FibroTV.com is meant for information and entertainment purposes only. Any information via audio, video, or print material should in no way replace any advice or direction given to you from your personal physician or medical caregiver. Please consult your physician for specific treatment options. Well, hello everyone. My name is Jen Reynolds, creator and founder of FibroTV.com. We are now on the Daily Dose of Health and Wellness, episode number 11. And today we're going to be talking about listening to our gut feeling when it comes to our bodies. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the podcast. Every single one of us is born with an instinct. This instinct we call gut feeling or intuition. Any parent can tell you that if their child is not feeling well, they know even before the child's really sick. Or if their child's in some sort of danger or about to be in some type of danger, parents usually know or get this feeling and they go to their child and see them right before the act of them getting hurt or being in danger. And this is a natural instinct that parents have with their children. Many people talk about this gut feeling or intuition when it comes to parent and child. But when it comes to our health, it's not really talked about that much. And it's something that you need to be very aware of. This gut intuition is not only important for life or death situations. Say, for instance, you start having chest pains and you start feeling dizzy. Your mind automatically tells you there's something wrong and that you need to get to the hospital because you might be having some kind of cardiovascular event. But it can also be very, very important for you to manage your symptoms when you have chronic illness. Because of being associated with a large amount of people with chronic illness because of FibroTV.com, I often see questions that are in the member section talking about different symptoms, new symptoms coming up, if I should go to the doctors, if I should not, is the doctor going to think I'm a hypochondriac because I'm coming in for something new? There have actually been times where I've seen people post that they have been throwing up blood, that they've been having chest pains, and they're too embarrassed to go to the doctors, or they think it's just part of fibromyalgia or part of lupus or part of RA. And we gotta be very aware with our bodies. If something new comes up and it doesn't have to be so pronounced like vomiting blood or chest pains, if you have a new feeling or you feel deep down inside something else is off, you need to make sure that you take care of yourself because you're personally responsible for your own health. So if you really feel something is off, you really need to go see the doctor. And who cares what they say? They could say whatever they want. You need to make sure that you're taking care of you and your body and your needs. And if you have that little feeling inside your head or your gut feeling or whatever you want to call it, and you really think something's off, make sure that you get it taken care of. And if one doctor brushes you off, 
go to another doctor. If that doctor brushes you off, go to another. If that one brushes you off, maybe go see a naturopath. The point is, is you know your body more than any physician. You know your body, you know how it's supposed to feel. Even if you have a chronic illness, you're gonna have everyday pain, fatigue, and some other symptoms. But if something else is off and you're having a new symptom, or if you're just not feeling well and you just feel there's something off, it's worth it to go to the doctors. And it's worth it to look like a fool in front of them if they wanna call you that, 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 that's their problem because you need to take care of yourself and that's what's most important. Listening to your gut feeling and intuition is also very important with symptom management. If you eat a food and you feel a little bit off a few hours later, you may be having a sensitivity to that food. If you're taking a new medication and you just don't feel right on it, a lot of doctors will tell you, you know what, take it for another couple weeks and maybe some of those side effects will go away. Well, I could tell you from past experience, I used to be on 12 medications, that if I didn't feel good on a medication at the beginning, I sure as heck didn't feel any better three or four weeks later. So if your body's telling you that it's not liking that medication or if it's not liking that food, you really need to listen to your body and you need to speak up for yourself when it comes to doctors. If you feel really off about a medication, and I hear a lot about this with Lorica especially, a lot of people get a lot of swelling, they get a lot of mental confusion and a lot of other serious side effects with it. It doesn't go away after time. In fact, you gain more weight and you have more memory problems. Now I'm just talking about the people that have issues with it and not the people that actually benefit from it. So let's make that very clear. But you are your best physician and you know your body and you need to be very forward with your doctor and say, you know what, this medication isn't working and I don't like the way it's making me feel and I don't want to wait another three weeks to see if it's going to make me feel any better or worse because your body is going to tell you if it's right for you or if it's not right for you. Another situation where your gut feeling or intuition is very beneficial to you is how you're feeling each day and how you go about your day and how you pace yourself. Having a chronic illness, when we wake up, we're all a little stiff. Sometimes we didn't get enough sleep and we're not well rested and we still feel tired and we have symptoms in the morning. But there's certain days that we feel worse than others. And we really need to listen to our bodies and go about our day with how we are feeling. That doesn't mean that if you're having a bad day, you don't do anything. I'm not saying that, I'm saying that you actually listen to your body and maybe pace yourself better or take a nap or take breaks when you're out shopping, maybe sit down a few more times. You need to really listen to your body and your intuition and use that to manage your symptoms. Because if you learn to pace yourself and listen to your body and take these little tiny extra steps during your day, you can actually prevent flare ups of your condition. I thought I would share a little personal story of something that happened to me where I listened to my gut and my intuition and it was actually right and it actually it could have saved my life. Um, I'm not sure because uh, um, I went to the hospital and everything turned out okay. But um, I had a condition for a long time where um, I had a lot of chest pain with fibromyalgia. And I know what it's called, but I probably am not pronouncing this right, but it's called costochondritis. But maybe somebody else can let you know exactly how to pronounce it because it's really long. I always have like things that are long names, fibromyalgia, costochondritis. You know what I'm talking about though. Anyways, um, a lot of people with fibromyalgia do get this condition and it sometimes can mimic a cardiovascular event or a heart attack. And I had actually been to the ER probably four times that year just because I was having chest pain and I was thinking I was having a heart attack and every time they says no you're not having a heart attack they did all the tests you just have costochondritis or inflammation of the soft tissues and so um, one morning I woke up and I was having chest pains and I just felt like my heart was beating fast and I felt really dizzy and I didn't remember those other things happening when I had it before, when I had these type of chest pains before. 
And then I started like breathing kind of heavily and I thought, well, maybe I'm just having a panic attack, you know, I'm freaking out and I waited a little bit and I'm like, okay, maybe I can just calm down. I tried to take a bath, relax myself and that feeling just wouldn't go away and something just clicked in my head and I said, you know what, something's off. I ended up calling 911 and being picked up by the paramedics and I was having heart palpitations and arrhythmias and when I got to the hospital, I found out that um, my calcium levels were so low and my potassium was messed up and it was causing me to have heart palpitations and there was something really wrong. And when I went to the hospital and I was in the ER, I explained to the doctor, you know, I had waited for a while because I was like so embarrassed to come back here because I have been here several times this year with chest pains and I didn't want you guys to feel like I was a hypochondriac. And the doctor looked me straight in the eye and says, if you ever, ever have chest pain, no matter what, come to the ER. It's better to be embarrassed than to be dead. And I'll never forget that. And I want you guys to remember that as well. You really need to listen to yourself. Any type of chest pain, go to the ER. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Just go. If it makes you look like a fool or a hypochondriac, it's better than being dead. So I wanted to share that story about, you know, me kind of ignoring my intuition and then there was something actually wrong. I actually ended up going and everything was fine, which is great. But I didn't listen to that inner voice at first and um, not listening to that inner voice and my intuition and listening to my body, it could have been something that could have killed me. So it can be very serious. So if you pick up on anything from this podcast today, I want you to pick up that even though you have a chronic illness, chronic pain, or a condition that has symptoms constantly, if you get a new symptom, make sure you get it checked out because it's not always fibromyalgia. It's not always lupus. It's not always RA. It's not always chronic fatigue syndrome. It's not only any of the other chronic illnesses out there. It's not always your illness. You can still get other things. And don't be embarrassed to go to the doctor or to the ER. They're there for you. They work for you. And they're they're there to make sure that you're okay. So go do what you need to do to take care of yourself. My body hurts. Well, that concludes today's Daily Dose of Health and Wellness, episode number 11. You can find us over at Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Fibro TV. We're also on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Fibro TV. We're also tweeting our tweets over at Twitter. It's twitter.com forward slash Fibro TV. We're also on Google Plus. You just have to do a search for Fibro TV. And we're on the World Wide Web at www.fibrotv.com. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to us on iTunes. Thanks for listening, everyone. It's much appreciated every single week when you listen in. Until next time. From my colon to my spleen. My mommy is sick, but she's the best mommy in the entire world. And I just want her to get better. Fibro TV, making positive connections in the chronic illness community. You can find us over at www.fibrotv.com.